guys, cruel world, it's me, Smile Zowies, aka Diane, and I'm here to read more weird Canadian places, do a full face, and mess it all up, because I always do. So, <laughs> you're here, you're here, <laughs> alright, so we're doing, it has a little picture of the summer moon, this one's cute, there's a dinosaur for some reason. It's not in the story. It's not in the other story. I'm not crying. It's the sparkles from my glitter. I've been crying. <laughs> I poked myself in the eye in the last video, so that makes a little sense. So <laughs> and that was just before I started filming this. So don't cry. Don't look in the light. Cause no. And I don't. And I didn't do a very light under eye okay like I had a really bad liner and then I just wanted some like a wash there really I should have just left it <laughs> all right so the story's short so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read you the story it's not very exciting this one okay and I don't normally read you guys the stories so it's called last chance saloon and it's the Rose Deer Hotel in Wayne, Alberta. It's 10 miles and 11, um, 11 bridge south from Dome Hill, Durham Hills, Durham Hills. Okay. Right there. Okay. <laughs> Can't say that city's name. Drum Hill? Drum Heller? Drum Heller? I'm going to say it's Drumheller. Um, Alberta, you'll come to a genuine ghost town of Wayne. So, supposedly this, like, little, sh like, building's the only one that's kind of in this town, it sounds like. Um, within the, it was a former coal mining town, which a lot of Alberta, there's a whole area in Alberta that was a coal mining cities that geared to a couple coal mines in it. Same thing with Northern Ontario, we have that as well. So in 1920s, it says coal, okay. Within the former coal boom town from the 1920s into the 1930s, you'll be coming a historical landmark. Rose Deer Hotel, which makes sense because it's so old, of course it's gonna be a landmark. The hotel of th the hotel is the three-story wooden stable of a, I can't even say that, Satoon? No. Sir, changes in 19, oh, it goes through owners in 1913, except over the years. Ghosts have taken residence inside the Last Chance Saloon, only because the owner's living in it. It's not to do with the mines at all. Well, there's not anything to say about the Ghost in the Last Chance Saloon because it's not very haunted, but it's a little. So, through the former owner, seems to take a load off and sit in a cha sit in a chair in a, like a spell, like he would just sit there and like think and smoke a cigar after work. He only entirely active. He never really talked to people. He just sat there and smoked his pipe. Um. He was very a uh, cheeky person when you did talk to him as a person. So if you had, they're saying this is the only ghost you see, is that if you had to, I'm throwing my stuff away. I'm only using, so you have to stay. But, but it, they say. If you stay over there in Wayne's town, in the ghost town, the only ghost you will see is in these saloons, and it's the former owner. And it says to take pictures because, and if this man offers you a puff of his pipe, you take it. That's really what it says. I lost the page of it. I think it's at the beginning of the book. I'm just going to have to look it up to write it in there for you guys, okay? Just to write the name of the city and all that. So we're going to go into the makeup. So I don't think every place is as haunted as they say. So we're going to go into some LA primer. I promise you. I put this on my hand. And it made me feel like I just put on Halloween makeup. 
So let's see how this guy works. Oh man, it winds you. It smells like kind of flowery, which normally irritates me, but I put this on my hand. Okay, so. So let me know about any, I kind of want to, I'm intrigued about any, like, ghost experience. I prefer to talk to people, like, about their everyday. Like, if I had someone come on my channel, I would ask for both. I'd ask them to tell me a ghost experience, and I'd ask them to help. So, this isn't bad. It's not, like, the best. It smells nice. It really feels like Halloween makeup. <laughs> Alright, so now that's on there. Do I need, I'm going to take a little bit. I have this too, but I think I want to use this with a, the concealer. So I'm going to go into BH Cosmetics and take just a little bit of this yellows and pinks and all that. I kind of mix them up and put them on my face. So here's my, get out of here. Sorry, it was spider web. I don't know where they come from. They just come after me. They're like, you, you Miss Cushing, you shall go. Alright, so I mixed the yellow with the pink and the orange. Um, I'm just going to rub it on there. A little on my nose because I got that spot. And I just rub it into like all of them. Like legitly when it comes down to these oranges, I think it's a little, and I just do it with my redness too, even though you probably shouldn't. I don't mean to put it up that high. So just go over with that. I'm just using a normal padded brush and then I blend out with the blender brush. I don't really and just touch up a little bit of these spots here. I have acne. And I don't do much like that. I don't really care about covering up the acne because your your stuff should. Alright, so this is on there. That's on there. I want to have a little fun. I'm going to be shiny and a little bronzy. I want to do a little illuminating iconic London. And I'm going to put a little on the back of my hand. Just a small amount. Because I don't feel like I need much. And then I'm going to take my Montclair because I'm tanned. So this actually might look alright on me because I realized. And put that on my hand. And then I like to use the spoolie wand. I normally would mix that in it, but since I want to illuminate, and I want to hope that this covers my whole head. Oh, right in my hair today. Right in my hair. Okay, so yeah, let me know about your ghost experiences. I think I should start doing that a little more maybe tell you what I've gone through as ghost experience maybe that would be cool let me know with likes and buttons anything like that and when I mean like that I mean like any ghost experience aliens All of the above. Really all of the above. And yes, I like to... When it's this hot, I just like a tinted moisturizer. I'm going to keep my brush out so I remember what I use. Alright, so today for a little concealer, I'm going into the e.l.f. concealer. It's basic. And then I'm going in to hide the blemish. I want to use both. Because this is more my skin tone. And 
and this one will brighten up because it doesn't really match my skin tone. But it between these two, it does. And yes, they the the stick smells better than this. This smells like the hairspray. It smells like woo. So I like to take the brush. Before I would just go in with my beauty blender. But I like to do that at the end. Like of everything. So I don't feel like I normally talk about the makeup or anything like that much. I normally am just talking about this stuff. Like what's going on. So do I like to put concealer in my nose? Yes. I do. And do I like to brighten up my forehead? Yes. I like to do this. Some people like to do their bronzer first. I like to do this first so then if I put too much on or not enough or so now that's kind of like blended but not blended you know. I take this Stampin' Beauty Blender because at first I'm like this is a joke. Like do you really have to wet this? Like when it first got Beauty Blender I didn't even know you wet this until I started to watch like Candy Johnson and back in the day and I'm like wait you wet the beauty blender I thought it was dry like I didn't know this was supposed to be wet now that I know it's supposed to be wet to be honest it doesn't absorb as much product <laughs> that's what I realized like before it would absorb it doesn't absorb enough and it kind of hydrates you I really like putting in that this luminator I think I might do it a couple more times just to see so now that I'm this far into it I'm gonna put in my elf I picked out what I wanted to use before my elf halo because I really don't use this should I pack this under my eyes probably instead of using a brush yes and I don't put on a lot there all right, so I go into a brush. I like using like a brush like this that's kind of angled because say you don't want to use the beauty blender under the eye. And yeah, I just kind of throw on the powder. Literally, I'm like, I ah, just throw this beast on. And I think all powders mattify even though this says it's glow oh sorry about the I didn't know a fire truck was gonna go by or if you get dingles I'm trying to cut my notifications back so I'm not going crazy I don't always do my ears okay you know why because normally when I'm done my ears are both the same color <laughs> anyways or all red like today I got sunburnt it's all red okay Let's do a little here because I feel like I'm really sweaty there. And I'm going to do a little extra on my forehead because it looks a little. And does it still make you glow? Yes. All of this still makes me glow. If you guys want me to, I will change it to. Uh, yeah, this looks a little bit more natural. I, I changed it because. Sorry about the dang. I was trying to get the dust off the brush. Um, not everyone's the same. So I think I'm going to go in with this Femissions Formia bronzer, bronzer. I don't know what it's called. I'm just going to read it. And I don't even think they make this one anymore. And then I got this bronzer. And it says it's a bronzer. But if you read the packaging, it says single blush. I think it's called bronzer. And on the packaging, it said it was like a blush. A highlighter you put on your hand is like a lumen if you wanted to use this as a bronzer you could if you wanted to use this as a eyeshadow a highlighter you can so I'm gonna use it as a highlighter just because I don't really do this I'm gonna have to not talk for a little bit I want to do another video too where I kind of just sit there and do a full face and I'm gonna throw this full face without talking just to see how it goes like do you guys prefer me just to put on makeup and then chat or do a full face makeup and not say anything at all let me know 
because everybody's different. But I really want to play with this guy. So it comes with a little sponge. I've had this forever. My sister bought this back in the day for me. Oh, what into my cool brush? There we go. So my favorite brush to use for bronzers and blushes are an angle brush. If you are afraid of bronzer, because a lot of people I've noticed are, go for a bronzer like this. It will have pink pearls in it and it will have light beige and deep beige all in one. It will. This is the bronzer my sister gave me first. Yes, I pull it down because I'm not doing two shades. I'm just doing the one. And it's very light. Like this is the lightest looking bronzer I own. It is not, it's something I have to build. It is not strong. That's the best way to describe it. And I'm dipping into the powder. Like that's powder you can see. I'm dipping into the powder to get it on my face. Because I do like it deep in here. In my, like to my, I would say my dip of your jawline. I don't really have a big one because I'm fat. It's okay. But I pull it down because it's so light. And I do use two normally. And yes, I have acne. I am human. These, it's literally from, I think, maybe night creams I get them from. And I like to pull my bronzer into my lat, into my lid. So let me know about these ghosts, okay? Normally I'm not talking about this much about the product I'm putting on, okay? So I just wanted to throw it out there. Like, do you guys want me to just do videos on products? Do you want me to, like, do a full face and then... And just put the full face up and just chat about it? Like, I mean, about, like, the... The... Um... Like, any of the self-care quotes and stuff like that. So, you guys let me know. I put a little bit on my nose. And then I put a little bit down here. To give me tech. It like kind of defines my lips. And let me know. That's really what I want to know. Is I said I wouldn't talk this much, but I lied. I want to know. What do you guys think? Alright, I, I love this. This is so light. I suggest, that's what I suggest. Get a bronzer with pinky, yellow, like creams and pinks in it. If In browns. Of course, it has to have browns. If you want a light. some if For someone who's darker, I would suggest something not like this. I would suggest... Um... Maybe like a movie, just because you are more darker than I am. Like I would have went in with this and then some of this. I would say this would be more your tone if you wanted something. Oh, I feel like anything would work. It shouldn't matter if the product is good. It should be able to go on all skin tones. So we're gonna go on CoverGirl. Um, last class pink cheek blush. This is a classic. I think they're classics. I'm going in with the same bronzer brush and just rubbing it down and going for gold because I love the pinks in these. These are one of the cheapest. I think I spent $5 on it and they always work. I like pigmented. There we go. And you rub it up into the, into the side there. And I mean, I want to paint. I'm going to rub it up and I rub it up. And I don't stay close to the sides. You just go for gold. This got to be a little pinker. Say you don't like it this pink. Then you go back into this beach. And you tone it down a little. I think I need to make this one a little more pinky. Put a little up here because I like to tone. And then I put some on my nose. 
and I kind of drag it just to bring I'm a little down there to bring color back. All right, now I'm going to drop that, drop the blender, drop my lap, drop my hat. I'm going to go into this LA color bronzer, highlighter, shimmer, whatever it is, and go for it because I don't really do a dark color for a highlight, but I'm going to try it. Stepping on my comfort zone. And it's pretty. Wow. I could definitely use this as a bronzer. That's what I'm learning. And I like to shimmy it up. Put a little on my cupid. Put a little on my nose. And then I shimmy it up here. Shimmy it down here. Because you can. And put a little here. Alright, those are all done. We're going to do something new. I don't lip line, but I got this Beauty Vault lip liner in Cozy Carry. Curry? K I R A. Wait, yeah, K I R A. And then I got this e.l.f. lipstick. It's a satin lipstick. I like the look of these. It's like, what can you complain for $1.25 in cedar? So I don't line my lips, but we are going. Oh, I should sharpen this first. That I don't. Because it'll help out. There we go. And use any sharpener. And I don't look fine. I normally just go in. And yes, your lips are not gonna. And I don't pick up. I'm not gonna fix my lips till after. And he held do this ombre thing, so I'm going to try this ombre thing. I think this is close to this lip liner. I lied. I think it's the other one, but it's okay. Okay, so see how it's messy, and I don't like that. So this bottom lip is looking good. Top lip is not. So what I do is I wipe it hard. Because I don't care if the concealer comes off or the... And we just go back in with this. This guy here. And we kind of let slide a little straight down. Not too hard. And then you bloop the bottom. Perfect. And I'm done. So I hope you enjoyed the talk. Please, please, please comment down below ghost stories. And... Let me hold on what day is going. I'm going to turn off this light so you guys can see. This is more, like, I have a lamp under the back. But this is more, I don't know why it always, like, I turn this way and it goes, like, orange. Like, you're orange. Look, now I'm red. Now I'm yellow. Now I'm a whole other color. And that's at least what I see, if you guys see that, too. So, oh, you can, can you not? So you can see my eyeshadow a little better here. I think it's the lipstick that makes it whole. I don't really do lipstick. So I'm sending you guys love. I'm sending you healing. I'm sending you positive energy. I'm sending you a million cat kisses and dog kisses and lizard kisses because you can't leave those guys behind. So I hope you have a lovely day. I hope you enjoy the sunshine. I hope you guys do something positive and fun and outgoing. And I'm going to throw on a lip gloss because I can. I'm going to put on some CoverGirl. So, I, and just dab it. Hey, don't. Oh, that feels a little better. Actually, to be honest, that sad one, I don't think I needed to put anything on it. I just wanted to. <laughs> so, I'm leaving all this out. And enjoy. Enjoy the spring summer. I think I'm going crazy a little. Like this much. 
when I hit these launch, I'll let you know. So have a good one and think positive.